and the area of expertise of Tech Up Dave is unsurprisingly tech upping. Uh, you're Indeed. here, yeah, you've been doing that this afternoon. Yes. Um, and also, we have Cat of the Week. <laughs> <laughs> it's Cardi Bay's Cat of the Week. <laughs> So, technically speaking, this is the second Cat of the Week because I have another weekend show uh, this weekend. I was on yesterday. I am on, indeed, next Saturday between 10 o'clock and 1 o'clock. My trusty tech up. I think next you're on next weekend as well, Dave? Uh, unless I can get out of it, yes. <laughs> unless I can get out of it. Uh, so, I'm on between 10 and 1, both next Saturday and next Sunday, and we will have two more Cats of the Week. But who is the Cat of the Week today, Cat I suppose? Of, Cat of the Week for today was nominated by cat mum Lydia Noble, Noble and the cat is called Layla which I think is a great name for a cat because I like Layla the song by Eric Clapton. Oh, also cats yes. lay around quite a bit. I think it's Linda Noble. Linda. Well, yes, Sorry, Linda, yes, I can't yes. read. Uh, can we add uh, Layla to the cat of the week list? Uh, she's two and a half. She got her during Covid and... Uh, because she'd lost her previous cat, Tigger. Uh, hopefully we see some pictures of uh, Layla on the screen in a second. Uh, Tigger was 15 when Tigger passed away. Right, OK. And then, uh, um, yes, and then and then Layla was, was uh, acquired. Beautiful cat there, very bright-eyed, lovely uh, white little um, neck there, and Tabby as well. Apparently she loves chasing silver foil balls, and we'll bring them back to you to throw again, chasing butterflies. Just like you. Just like me, yes, indeed. <laughs> chasing butterflies and laying on top of my laptop, uh, Linda's laptop, while she's working. She How also does has, that work? I, I, I don't know, actually. I don't know. It's uh, weird. Cats, they love yeah. the, they love the, you know, it's, if it's the sort warmth, of, you know, if, I'm not, if it's not meant to be sat on, why is it, why is it warm? I yeah. suppose cats could reasonably ask. Layla, Layla I think, has, a, has, a, has an Instagram account. Yes, uh, has an Instagram account, which is Princess Layla underscore Tabby Cat. She has uh, more followers than Linda, apparently. Yes. Excellent. So, excellent. Uh, well, listen, we we, we've, we've had some sad news as well. Um, we have quite a long waiting list to be Cat of the Week. So if you've sent in your Cat of the Week and you haven't seen your cat as Cat of the Week, as indeed uh, Layla is this week, well, um, we will we will get to it. But there have been a couple of cats that kind of haven't quite made it uh, uh, recently. And no. we want to just pay tribute to them and say that we are thinking about their owners because it's very, very sad when it happens. The first one is Clyde, uh, who was a, a majestic 20 years old. He was. Yeah. Uh, uh, he was uh, Michael Webb's little boy, and, and he'd recently been diagnosed with uh, chronic kidney disease, uh, so he didn't have much time left. Uh, apparently, uh, Clyde decided to move in with Michael ten years ago because he wasn't getting the required level of service he wanted with his previous <laughs> owner. Uh, apparently, he was bossy, vocal, loving, and a proper daddy's boy. Wonderful. Michael says, I loved him to bits, and this would be a fitting memory for him. So we remember Clyde. We also remember Muffin, who is also known as Bolt, and uh, Muffin was nominated by Annie uh, Gregg, who is on Twitter as well, and uh, he, uh, Annie said, we sadly said goodbye to my darling. I think we've got, a, we've got pictures of Muffin got we can Muffin put on can now, put perhaps, on the screen. Uh, Muffin, well, we said goodbye to Muffin yeah. on the 23rd of April. She was the most affectionate cat I've ever had. My heart is heavy tonight. So that's very sad, isn't it? Hopefully we'll see Muffin Let's put Muffin on the screen if we can. Um, I think we're, we're perhaps still looking at Clyde. If we can look at Muffin. There's, now, there's Muffin. Muffin. There's Muffin. And Annie sent in Muffin, and Muffin's a beautiful black and white cat. Yes. And it's very sad. that uh, they, do, they don't stay around forever, which is, which, is, which is very sad. But we remember them, and they live, leave paw prints on our heart. Dave, thank you very, very much indeed. That's all right. We'll put them up on your Twitter account. Yes, we will put them up on my Twitter account, at Peter Cardwell, and I'll do that after the show. And Dave, thank you, as always, for all your uh, administrative and technical know-how.